Hey guys, and welcome back to the Spruce and Linen channel. I'm Janelle, and today we're gonna build stands for woven wall hanging. So I'm doing a market in May, and I need to bring all my own stands to display my work. And I was on Pinterest and saw this idea for clothing, and I was like, that would work really well for woven, woven wall hangings too. So that's what I'm gonna try to recreate today. I'm gonna post my um, craft market booth Pinterest board in the description so you can go see what my inspiration was. And yeah, uh, we're just gonna wing it and see what we can come up with. Okay, so the basic concept of this stand is we're gonna have two boards on each side that crisscross and the dowel is gonna go through them and then we're gonna have some support boards on the bottom and that's really it. And then we're gonna get some S hooks later on to hang the weavings from. But these are gonna be really basic, really lightweight and really easy because why not? in making this type of stand like I am, I'm just gonna tell you some of the materials I'm using. So I'm gonna be using one by three boards, which actually measure more like three quarter inch by about two and a half. Um, I'm trying to keep everything small and lightweight because I have to travel with this. And it also needs to come apart, again, so I can lay it flat in a truck or something and have it easy to carry into the building. I also have a one inch dowel that we're gonna use and various measuring tools, a mouse sander, drills, and some bolts as well. So hours later, it is now like midnight, so we're exhausted, but we've got a stand. We ended up having to add a lot more supports than we expected, which kind of makes sense because it's only two feet wide at the bottom from this way to this way. And we ended up just having to add more boards at the bottom. We had to add this board at the top because all that was holding it together was a loose dowel, so that obviously wasn't gonna work. So we kind of just troubleshooted it. I'm gonna have to have weights at the bottom, because again, this is really lightweight wood. If you used like two by four or something, it would probably be strong enough on its own, but I wanted to keep all the pieces really lightweight, again, so it's easy to get into the building. So what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna make like little sandbags for each corner in like a nice cotton or something cover um, just to make sure that this base can't move at all. But as you can see, like there's a little bit of flex there, but it's pretty good. I'm quite happy with it. I still have to take it apart and sand the rest of the boards down. I just sanded the one, which looks far better than the others. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get S hooks for here and then hang the weavings from those. So I will show you that once we have those, but all in all, this is definitely the look I was going for. I'm really excited to see it complete and we've got to make three more of these at some point. So yeah. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. So I really need to, I don't remember what I was gonna say. <laughs> That's okay. If you like this video, please hit the... <laughs>
we'll start that again.